You sure you don't want to come and watch him? It's a big race. He'll be made up. Ah, oh, take it, yeah. Not ready. Kev. Ah, you got everything? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Hey! Kevin, let me in. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Just wanted to see how you were. Heard you were back. Oh, good. Really good. You don't have to pretend to me. It's, it's fine. It's just... Nothing's changed. Seb's still gone and Corey's still a free man. Yeah, something like that. Everything's all right with you and Kev, though, isn't it? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. He, he just seemed upset. Well, he just wants to set a date for the wedding, that's all. And you don't? Why? What is going on in that head of yours? Oh, when you find out, let me know, all right? Zach's forgot his lucky sock. Just leave it, Nina. No, I don't understand and by the sound of it, neither does Kev. He was devastated when you got him, now you're back and you're just pushing him away. Not pushing him away. Unless you have no intention of sticking around. I'm not going anywhere and, of course, I want to marry Kev. It's, you know, it's just the thought of organising everything is overwhelming. Well, how about if I take all that out your hands? Debbie's had a cancellation at the hotel for next month. Really? All you've got to do is turn up and look beautiful, which won't be too hard. Well, in that case... Wow. Jack Sock really is lucky. Wait till I tell him. Hi, it's me. No, we need to talk. I've talked to her. Call me back. Great, thanks for asking again. Sorry, I'm just worried about you. Mm, you and Arthur Weatherfield. Abby, I really care about you. Well, I don't want you to. All I want is a bit of peace and quiet for people to stop pecking me up because they've got enough going on in here as it is. Now, will you let me finish my brewing, please? Okay, okay, I'm going. Hey, love. Uh, Devs didn't have any hot chocolate shop and all over the place trying to find it. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got it now. Yeah, so I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Have you? I'm sorry, I had to be honest with her. Idiot. Don't worry, I didn't mention you. So what did you say? The truth. That it was just a drunken one-night stand with someone I met at a hotel bar. And she's not suspicious? No. no I, I, I just need to know if you're going to say anything to Kev. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna shout it from the rooftops. Local slappers bag, lock up your husbands. Keep your voice down. I just need to know. And I need for you to stop hassling me. I haven't got space in my head for this right now. I've got bigger things to worry about, so just back 